What is up guys? It's everyone's pleb here for another video and today I'm going to get into uh, an introductory to being a healer healer role and the gear that or build that I really prefer to use as well as some good viable options that um, kind of meet your play style and kind of cater to the way you like uh, to play. So to start off I'm going to go ahead and talk about uh, the stabs and uh, for the sake of this video, I'm going to keep everything at tier 6, but um, this is definitely applicable across all the tier different tiers. You're just Your percentages and your durations are going to be a little bit different. Um, so to start off, there's kind of two different stabs that are really a viable solution. And uh, those are the great or the holy staff and the great holy staff. Now, in the previous builds of the test servers uh, or the, the the betas, I was a great uh, two-handed great holy staff user, but uh, there's definitely viability to be using a holy staff as well. Uh, when it comes to your Q and W abilities, you're wanna, gonna want to focus on flash heal and um, your holy blessing. Um, obviously, unless uh, of course you either are a level 40 and you have your enlightenment, or you are a level 100 and you are a beast and you have your reawakening unlocked because that's going to pull up your knockdown allies incredible ability now the main difference between the holy staff and the great holy staff is going to be your e ability here which is for the holy staff it's desperate prayer which is an instant healing ability which will uh, instantly heal your target for x amount and in this case it's 150 but those percentages are going to be different uh, depending on the tier of the item and then if they're lower than 40%, you're also going to get 322. So if they're 40% lower, you're going to get uh, a, an immense amount more in terms of healing. Um, it's just a perfect ability to be using for quick burst heals that you need to do on uh, either your DPSs or your tanks, things like that. Now, in terms of uh, these abilities down here or your passives, I, I mean, uh, you're, you're going to want to use those situationally. So like if you're doing um, uh, like a fame farm or something like that, you may want to go ahead and focus on using energetic uh, because that will restore your energy better, especially if you don't have somebody with a druidic cow in your group. Um, or if you obviously don't have it, you can just go with the adrenaline uh, driven charity. Um, it's just depending on what you have and kind of the situation that you're in. So I would hope that you would use your best judgment for those as I'm just going to talk about the basics of each uh, weapon. So another great option would be the Great Holy Staff. Now, these are pretty much all the same for your Q and W, but the difference is for your E ability, you have Holy Explosion, which is an area-based knockback. Now, this area-based knockback is perfect for uh, group fights where you have um, people really pushing your front line and you definitely need to give yourself, give your team an opportunity to um, resituate and prepare for a counterattack, or you're getting focused um, by a DPS as a healer and you really need to get the enemy off of you and prepare uh, for healing either yourself or prepare for your team to drop in on that guy things like that now the the, the holy explosion also heals your, your allies or your you know your teammates um, so it gives it a healing of this in this case for, uh, 74 but it depends on the actual tier of your weapon now I want to try and keep this pretty short and sweet, so I'm going to go ahead and, and transition over to the next uh, gear set, and that is going to be uh, the uh, cowls. So we'll go ahead and look at the two main uh, cowls that um, are viable solutions for a decent build, and that would be the cleric cow for its ice block, which was recently nerfed to one second cool or one minute cooldown as opposed to 40 seconds, um, but it also lasts as an invulnerability for five seconds. Um, a lot of people don't understand the actual use of this uh, ability and use it as kind of like a last minute protection uh, when they're low HP. But instead, you really want to be using this ability pre DPS drop where somebody's coming in onto you um, and is getting ready to unleash a bunch of uh, damage. Uh, so their DPS, um, or their maybe two DPS is getting ready to drop in on you and focus you. You want to pop that ice block. Um, so that way you negate as much damage as possible coming in onto you um, before it actually hurts hurts you because when you use that ice block you lose all mobility so if your team's uh, transitioning to the left or the right or you know the lines changing you're going to pretty much isolate yourself post ice block and you're pretty much just asking to get wiped 
Um, so I've, I've noticed a lot of people like to use that ice block as a save and it's really not meant for a save. It's really meant to negate a lot of incoming damage. Now, another uh, useful ability, or useful ability, useful uh, cow is the Druidic cow. And this is great to use with the two-handed Great Holy Staff because when you use that knockback ability, you're gonna be popping off a lot of energy um, and you're also going to be using a lot of heals just naturally as well. So the ability of using that circle of inspiration to not only give your, your uh, allies um, mana, but as well as yourself, it's just extremely useful for sustainability and a build that um, can definitely help you get more HP onto your teammates faster, or not necessarily faster, but longer and not having to worry about regen. Um, now to kind of just segue into the next part, we're gonna go ahead and hop over here into the robes. Now, um, all, of this, all of these builds, I'll show you the uh, complete build after um, via the character build, but for the sake of just displaying each uh, individual item, I'm gonna use the destiny board here for the majority of the time. So there's two main robes that I would like to focus on um, in terms of base tier gear. Obviously, if you are working in like Blackstone GBGs, things like that, you're in the upper tiers, you probably already know what you're doing and you probably don't really need to be watching this video. But for those of you who are kind of just getting started out and you're really trying to look um, for a good healing build for either some friends, some small guild members, things like that, this is a great video for you. And uh, first thing we're going to talk about is the mage robe. The mage robe is a perfect option because of the frost shield. The frost shield gives you a magic resistance of 78 for 8 seconds, as well as slowing your enemies that are attacking you, which gives your teammates uh, in a ganking situation uh, is a perfect opportunity to just drop in on them and kind of prevent their escape. Uh, so it's great to be used when you're being focused. Obviously, you're not going to um, get enough resistance to really... Um, protect yourself very well. So you're going to want to also per, uh, prepare for evading using um, night boots, which I'll talk about here in a second. Um, but it's definitely good for reflecting damage as well as slowing the attackers um, to give your teammates um, an opportunity to kind of counterattack and come in for the kill. Now, another great option is the Scholar Robe because of its speed caster. Speed, what Speedcaster does is doubles your cast speed as well as decrease your energy costs. So it's a very good situational ability that allows for you to drop a lot of HP onto your teammates um, as fast as possible. Now hold on, I'm going to walk around here real quick so I don't get uh, put offline. Um, and we'll hop back over here real quick, just a second. Anyways, now back over here, let's go ahead and look at the, the uh, what's wrong one? Uh, no, Scholar Road, okay, speed. So yeah, it gives you that 40% um, for eight seconds, so you can drop a lot of HP onto your teammates um, in a short amount of time in case of like a, your tank's low HP, your DPS is getting focused, things like that. So that way you can um, really boost your teammates' health um, immensely, as well as your own. If you're in a situation where you're getting focused, you need to pop a lot of heals on yourself to kind of sustain, perfect opportunity to push uh, to pop speed cast and I'm going to also leave these passives to you, uh, your own judgment um, Because I'm kind of just trying to get a little bit of an introductory here Now there's two boots that I've seen a lot of people use and that I kind of would recommend There is the assassin shoes. I shouldn't say boots considering these are shoes, but the assassin shoes uh, assassin assassin shoes offer a dodge which allows you to um, jo jump or roll to your cursor's position as well as gives you um, inv invincibility during that roll, which is great because if somebody's getting ready to uh, drop a bunch of uh, uh, damage on you or you know it's getting ready to pop, use that roll. It'll pop invincibility during that roll, negating a lot of that damage. And after that roll, you also have increased mobility. So if you're in a, in a situation where your team's falling back or escaping, the overall use of the dodge is just Fantastic, because not only do you get out of the area, um, immediate, the immediate area fast, you also get increased mobility post um, abil using that ability, which is just very, very useful. But that being said, I'm going to segue over here into the night boots, which are my personal preference in terms of build. Uh, and I love to use the shield charge. The shield charge is great because not only does it act as an opportunity to give yourself a shield, but it also gives your allies in close proximity a shield, um, which absorbs a certain amount of damage. In this case, as tier six, it absorbs 440 damage and lasts for three seconds. Um, 
Now, these are obviously, I'm going to say it again, uh, but these are obviously changing depending on the tier. But the way that shield charge is useful for is if you have somebody kind of coming into uh, breaking the front line of your fight and the, and the DPS is focusing you as a healer in the back line, you can go ahead and pop that shield charge, darting yourself into your teammates, um, which is immediately going to transition that, that focus back to the center of the fight, right back into your teammates, preparing you for a counterattack immediately. Not only are you prepared for counterattack, but you're also giving yourself and your teammates a little buffer for absorption. That gives you a chance to pop heals on yourself, as well as any teammates that may need healing at the time. It's definitely a great situational ability, and I use it in almost every single fight that I'm in. Now, let's see, make sure I didn't forget anything. Oh, offhands. So, when it comes to offhands, um, there's two routes. Now, this is uh, strictly based off of using the one-handed Holy Staff. There is the Eye of Secrets, which is extremely expensive um, and really used for more of like a high-tier guild versus guild fights things like that, um, which gives you an energy regeneration bonus, which is great um, for those regens, and, or for regen and being able to have sustainability in terms of mana, as well as an increased max energy. But if you're looking for more of a budget play and trying to kind of conserve, you can always go with the Master Tomes of Spell, which is very cheap to make and uh, offers a cast modifier. So you can uh, get more casts onto your enemies and or allies much quicker with the uh, Tome of Spells. Now I'm going to go ahead and alt tab over into um, into the character builder here and this is what I've been using really to kind of like map out my builds things like that. There's plenty of people that use this. Uh, this is supported on Albion's website so you can also go you can kind of come in here you can look at solo builds that uh, the community has posted um, that have you know popularity things like that things that are your kind of play style uh, whether it be you know uh, crossbows, you know, uh, axes, things like that. But in this case, I kind of focus on healing. So I have a, I have a build that I really use, and this is the build that I kind of, um, I created today just to kind of show you guys what I've uh, used and focus on. So obviously, I've got the cleric cow, I've got the mage robe for the frost shield, which I'm I'm thinking about transitioning over to a scholar robe because of just that speed cast. It's very situational and very useful. And then you also have the knight boots. Um, which I use almost exclusively. And, and the Eye of Secrets is definitely something you want to use in a GVG situation as using it in Hellgates is great. And I mean, obviously, the higher the tier, the gear, the better. But you also want to, um, you know, kind of limit yourself a little bit in terms of cost, um, especially early game. Um, it's definitely very risky to be taking all that gear out there and, and risking it. Although, uh, risk reward, right? So if you high risk, you have a better opportunity to get that reward. Um, in terms of gear quality, you're going to be outmatching. So it's really up to you on what you decide to use, and it depends on your budget, things like that, depending on your guild, your individual status, etc. Now, when it comes to potions, I always run a resistance potion because it increases your defensive sustainability and essentially what it does is if you've got somebody focusing on you, you can pop your resistance, it'll increase your de uh, your defense and um, basically protect your uh, hit points uh, better, giving you an opportunity to pop heals on yourself um, and or allies if need be. And then always, always, always in terms of food, be running an omelet. Omelets are great because they reduce uh, your cooldown periods and increase your casting time. Um, basically, the perfect thing to be using as a, ma as a mage of any sort, whether that's healing, fire, arcane, frost, etc. Anyways, guys, I really think that you should take this, some time to check out the uh, character builder and kind of toy around, see what things um, you would think would fit, um, look at the abilities and kind of play with it, find something that you would think would be an interesting build, test builds, look at other people's builds um, and kind of use that as an opportunity to kind of dictate what role you want to play. Obviously as a healer, I find a lot of enjoyment as a healer and playing in this role, so I thought I'd make a video about it. I'll make sure to make some other videos on the different roles as I start to progress my knowledge, but this video is just very introductory and I could get into talking about different play styles, different build styles of healing what of healing itself. But if you really like this video, let me know if you would like to meet me to go into more in-depth information about healing. 
Um, and if you would like me to make videos about other uh, types of builds, I also want to say my last video uh, actually got the most views in one day that I've ever had on a video. And I want to thank you guys so much for that. I thank you for the support and keep it up. I'd really like to see this video maybe get 50 likes uh, for once as I don't think I actually have a video that has hit 50 likes before. So I'd like to set a little goal like that. Anyways, guys, feel free to leave your comments um, and recommendations down below. Oh, one more thing before I go. I know I'm going a little long as a 15 minute video, but I would really love it if you guys would send in some videos of your guys' most recent combat situations because I'm thinking about starting a series uh, highlighting uh, the weeks of All Beyond and combat scenarios such as GVGs, ganking, Hellgates, things like that. And I'll be making highlight reels of those fights, uh, those finishes, things like that. Uh, so feel free to uh, send those videos in. I'll be uh, putting an email down in the description as well as, as an annotation on this video. So go ahead and throw those in and I'll be able to look through those and look into making a video. Other than that, guys, I'm everyone's pleb. Have a wonderful day. Peace.